Watching reruns of the shows featuring an actor whose life met a tragic end invokes a mix of emotions. Such is the case of Deborah Lee Scott, a talented and comical actress known for her appearances on various popular sitcoms and game shows. At the height of her career, she brought happiness and laughter into the homes of millions of people. And in return, life took from her the one thing she cherished most in her life and plunged her into a state of despair that led to her untimely death. Follow us along as we delve into the untold story of the life of Deborah Lee Scott while we show you some of her rare photos. Deborah Lee Scott was born in 1953 in Elizabeth, New Jersey as the youngest of four daughters of William Henry Scott Jr. and Marion Jones. Her older sisters included producer Carol Ann Scott and Beverly Hills talent manager Geraldine Scott. Tragically, Ardeth Lynn Scott, her fourth sister, passed away in infancy. When Deborah Lee's sisters reached adulthood, they relocated from Elizabeth, New Jersey to San Francisco, California. During her time in New Jersey, Deborah Lee worked at a local movie theater and actively participated as a cheerleader at her high school. When she reached the age of 16, she joined her sisters in San Francisco, where she graduated from the Galileo Academy of Science and Technology. Subsequently, she embarked on her journey in the entertainment industry, starting her career at the American Conservatory Theatre. Deborah Lee's first foray into the world of acting was slightly eerie, but a memorable one. She played an unaccredited role as the naked corpse of Anne Mary Deacon in the 1971 iconic film Dirty Harry, starring Clint Eastwood as the tough and unyielding inspector Harry Callahan. While her side role wasn't as meaningful as her later shows, it set the stage for her future in the entertainment industry. Later in 1973, Deborah Lee shared the screen with the young and talented actor Harrison Ford in the coming-of-age movie American Graffiti, where she played the role of Harrison Ford's character, Bob Falfer's girlfriend. But her first major role was in the sitcom Mary Hartman, Mary Hartman, where she brought her comedy talents to the forefront as Mary Hartman's quirky and offbeat sister, Kathy Shumway. At this point, Deborah Lee's journey in the entertainment world was already gaining momentum. However, it was Welcome Back Quarter, which premiered in 1975, that catapulted her to greater fame. As Rosalie Hotsey Totsy, a member of the Sweat Hogs on the sitcom, Deborah Lee became a beloved character, garnering a fan base of her own. The show was a launch pad for her career, making Deborah Lee a household name among American sitcom lovers. The show's success and Deborah Lee's success were mutual. Her chemistry with other members of the cast, her offbeat sense of humor, coupled with a vibrant charisma, and lastly, her energetic presence, which perfectly encapsulated her character Hotsi Totsi, all combined to elevate the show's success to greater heights and propelled Scott into the spotlight as a key contributor to Welcome Back Quarters. Scott's appearance on American TV was not limited to sitcoms, though. Deborah Lee's talent and charm also reached the game show circuit, including her appearances on the beloved show Match Game. Deborah Lee's humor added a special spark to the show's already lively atmosphere. Her delightful banter with the host, Jean Rayburn, and her fellow panelists, coupled with her character-like presence from Hotsi Totsi, created memorable moments that viewers eagerly awaited. Aside from that, she also stood out as a celebrity guest in shows such as The $20,000 Pyramid, Password Plus, and Celebrity Family Feud. Beyond sitcoms and game shows, Deborah Lee's career also included notable film roles, making her a well-rounded performer in the entertainment industry. In 1974, she appeared in the disaster film Earthquake, which was a major box office success. She further showcased her comedic talent in the film Police Academy, where she played the role of Mrs. Falkler. In addition to these films, she took on various other roles in movies such as Just Tell Me You Love Me and Pandemonium, demonstrating her versatility as an actress in both drama and comedy. While her film career was not as extensive as her appearance in sitcoms and game shows, it still highlighted her exceptional acting ability and added to her artistic legacy. 
At the peak of her career, Deborah Lee found herself yearning for a simple life away from the glamour and artificially beautified view of the Hollywood lens. In the mid-1990s, she made a pivotal decision to become a talent manager for the agency Empowered Artist, choosing to step back from the limelight and immerse herself in the behind-the-scenes world of show business. It was during this chapter that she had her first encounter with the love of her life, John Dennis Levy, an NYPD officer working for the Port Authority of New York and New Jersey. Their chance meeting at a Greenwich Village bar sparked a connection that would forever change the course of their lives. Over time, they grew closer and Deborah Lee found herself living in Brooklyn at the house of Levy with his mother. And then, one day, on a fateful cross-country trip, Levy finally proposed to Deborah Lee and she joyfully accepted. Their plan was to get married immediately after, but fate had other plans. Plans that would turn the life of Deborah Lee upside down and lead to an untimely death. Less than a year later, on September 11, 2001, tragedy struck when the Twin Towers came tolling down, killing thousands in the process. John Dennis Levi was among the countless heroes who lost their lives in this horrific incident. The devastating loss of her fiance left Deborah Lee heartbroken and shattered. In her grief, she turned to alcohol, seeking solace in its numbing embrace. The pain she felt was immeasurable, and it took a toll on her health, leading to cirrhosis of the liver. In an attempt to find healing and a fresh start, Deborah Lee relocated to Ferrandina Beach, Florida to care for her elder sister, Carol Ann, who was struggling with emphysema and heart problems. It was a difficult time for her, but she remained determined to be there for her loved ones, despite her own emotional turmoil. Then, an inexplicable turn of events shook her world once more. Deborah Lee collapsed and slipped into a coma, leaving her family and friends in distress. As she lay unconscious, the weight of her past struggles and heartache seemed to converge at this critical moment. When she finally emerged from the coma, the relief among her loved ones was evident and her resilience appeared to shine through. On her birthday, March 31, 2005, Deborah Lee woke up in the hospital, seemingly on the path to recovery. She underwent eye surgery and two days later was released from the hospital, offering hope to those who cared deeply for her. Yet, just three days later, fate dealt its final blow. Deborah Lee Scott, at the age of 52, lay down to take a nap and peacefully passed away in her sleep. The news left the whole entertainment industry awestruck and sent shockwaves through her fan base. An autopsy provided no definite cause of death, leaving those who loved her to grapple with the inexplicable loss. Her untimely passing left behind a legacy of talent, charm, and a career that touched the hearts of many. Deborah Lee Scott's journey was filled with highs and lows, successes and struggles. Despite stepping back from the limelight and choosing a quieter life, the challenges she faced were immense. The path she navigated was not without trials, but she never lost her spirit and determination. In an industry where many succumb to the temptations of fame and fall into a downward spiral, Deborah Lee was a shining example of resilience and strength. A decision to embrace a quieter life did not diminish her worth or impact on the world of entertainment. She will be remembered for infectious laughter, her unforgettable performances, and the quirky sense of humor that engraved her name in the hearts of many. Deborah Lee Scott's journey was not a conventional one, but it was still uniquely hers, filled with love, loss, and the pursuit of happiness. Her life was the embodiment of laughter, tears, and the human experience that is not so often absent from the lives of glamorized celebrities. When we remember her, we not only celebrate the actress who graced our screens, but the woman whose spirit lives on in the hearts of those who truly appreciated her presence. Though her popularity may not have reached unprecedented heights, her contributions to American television continue to be cherished, and her impact on the world of entertainment remains a testament to her comedic brilliance.